ओके कैन यू हियर मी तुम ज्वाइन हो गए तो अपना कैमरा ऑन करो जिस जिसने ज्वाइन किया है ओके एडमिट ओके तो हम पहुंचे यहां तक थे कि हमने किया था लेकिन रिजोल्व द कर्वेच वेक्टर ऑफ यूनिट स्पीड कर्व into two parts on a surface we have a curve or a surface now we have a surface and there is some curve here then is ka jo agar ye alpha hai uh, so if you have a curve so yeah let's go to this side okay so yet then you can resolve its uh, curvature vector because i'm taking the unit speed curve into uh, two components and you can write it as a linear combination of k n n plus k g men and all this kind of that was alpha dot n k n dot l n dot l n cross l dot so you can resolve it into two vectors and from that we got the curvature of the curve square is always equal to the normal curvature plus geodesic curvature now if it is a if it is a uh, geodesic alpha then obviously alpha double dot is parallel to n so so that means that it is perpendicular to this vector because this is this vector is perpendicular to n and if, if this is parallel to n then this must be zero and for a curvature for a geodesic this kg jo hai kg component it should be zero because it would be basically what was kg so you just have to take the uh, you know kg would be equal to alpha double dot dot and cross alpha dot and if if alpha double dot is parallel to n that means this must be zero okay सिमिलरली चलो अब अगर हम इसको थोड़ा और एक्सप्लोर करें मोर ओवर इफ एन इज द प्रिंसिपल नॉर्मल द स्मॉल एन इसको कहते हैं प्रिंसिपल नॉर्मल ऑफ द कर्व इज द प्रिंसिपल नॉर्मल ऑफ द अल्फा अल्फा सो दैट फिर हम सिरे ट्रेन इक्वेशन हमें पता है Okay, alpha double dot is equal to k n. We have let's go over some street currently. Okay, k n जो है जो कि बराबर है कर्वेचर था और alpha double dot dot n है so it would be alpha double dot n dot n which would be k cos psi by psi is the angle. because they are both unit vectors by definition psi is the angle between between n the principal normal of the curve and the surface normal so then agar aisa hai if k n is k cos psi then kg must be equal to plus or minus k sin psi and because just take the formula this k square is equal to k n square plus k g because 1 minus cos square 1 minus cos square theta would be sin square theta and so on so so that was so how they are related now if alpha is the normal section if alpha is the normal section the normal section mein kya hota hai uh the curve is suppose it is the curve obtained by the intersection of the surface that contain uh, of the plane that contains the normal and the surface then suppose alpha is the normal section uh, then alpha is the intersection of the surface Normal section will always be uh, geodesic. We are going to do that. Then alpha is the intersection of the 
of the surface with the plane, call that pi, with the plane pi containing the surface normal n. Of course, which is always perpendicular to the tangent plane. So bracket name index plane perpendicular to the tangent plane. Uh, tangent plane. Do we have Stadow's point with surface cotangent plane? Now, since this alpha lies, the normal section here, lies in this plane because of the intersection, pi, and it implies that this small n must be parallel to this capital N. Okay, because, because your T hai, T vector yahaan pe hai, yahaan pe pe hamara plane hai, which contains this, or N yahaan pe hai, N is also perpendicular to this T. So this capital N is also perpendicular to the T. So therefore N must be parallel to this capital N, the surface normal. And since pi is perpendicular to the tangent plane, and since pi is a plane hai, is perpendicular to the tangent plane, and is also parallel to pi, and lies alongside, is also parallel to pi, and since this n and n are both perpendicular to alpha dot, of course, both perpendicular to alpha dot. So they must be, uh, and alpha dot is parallel to pi, to pi. Uh, of course, because it is the tangent pi. Is alpha dot parallel to pi? Okay. And n and n must be must be oh sorry, n must be parallel to pi. Yes. And it must be, it means that say, to be managed by Chora Kara, so it may make it must be parallel. But if there is such a thing, which I have already said, then this psi must be equal to zero, the angle between N and N, which implies that KN should be plus minus K, or KG must be equal to zero for a normal section. So for a normal section, for a normal section, Therefore, for a normal section, kg is equal to zero. Therefore, our kg zero hat to must be a geodesic. So the mark may look something. Although we can also prove it. So let's give it a little proof. Mm. Uh, so, theorem. Any reparameterization of a geodesic uh, is, you know, it won't change basically. So, because it won't change alpha double dot, ki jo direction hai, usko change nahi karegi. Uh, what we call reparameterization say is ki direction change nahi ho ki. Or is ki direction hi agar ye n ke saath parallel hai, so ya fir ye zero hai, then the curve is a geodesic. So therefore, uh, reparameterization uh, would affect it. Now before that, we do another theorem. Any geodesic, which is rather simple to prove, has constant speed. Proof is both easier. Let alpha t be a geodesic on the surface okay, be a geodesic 
on a surface S with no, no, then d by dt of the norm of alpha dot t square is equal to no, alpha dot comes up here. You can share to my parikia here, d by dt of alpha. Okay, anyways, but Nijo square of the norm, it is the same as dot product, so it will be d by dt of alpha dot t dot product with alpha dot t. So using the product rules for this would be just alpha double dot t plus dotted with alpha dot t plus alpha dot t dot product with alpha double dot t. And using the fact that dot product is commutative, this is just twice alpha double dot. Usually we t not write it because it's a conversion model. But go ahead because it is everything is local here. Now, since alpha is a geodesic, is a geodesic, uh, alpha double dot is perpendicular to the tangent plane. That's the definition. Or it is zero. Tangent plane. And is therefore perpendicular to the tangent vector alpha dot at t. So therefore I can say alpha dot at t dot alpha dot t is equal to zero, right? So, so the alpha geodesic here, no, I should have, or uh, it is perpendicular to the tangent plane. Um, yeah, it lies alongside the normal. Or it is zero, that is obviously zero. So, which implies that d by dt of alpha to t uh, is equal to zero. Uh, now, in case, in case alpha double dot t is equal to zero, no, no, it is trivially true. Okay, I have to seek a derivative zero, it means it must be a constant vector. It means that alpha dot t the square must be a constant. Constant. And hence, it's got a square root over one constant over what we change the over. Then the alpha dot t must be, which is the speed of the curve, because magnitude of the velocity vector is the speed, um, must is a constant. Any geodesic t speed have a constant with it. Is se hume pata chala ki agar wo a constant hai. So so what? So agar tumhe pata hoga, if it is of constant speed. Then it must be perpendicular. constant speed hai, to unit speed reparameterization. Reparameterization simply. of a geodesic must still be a geodesic, is still a geodesic. Why? It would amount to multiplying by a constant because the effect of reparameterization, because the effect of reparameterization, reparameterization, will be to multiply to multiply alpha double dot by a constant a non-zero scalar. And that doesn't affect the direction of alpha double dot. 
और अगर वो इफेक्ट नहीं होती अगर ये जियोडेसिक है कि नहीं है उस पर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा बिकॉज जियोडेसिक होना इसकी डायरेक्शन तो इसलिए हम रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर सकते हैं अपने आगे का डिस्कशन टू दी यूनिट स्पीड जियोडेसिक्स क्योंकि कॉन्स्टेंट तो होती ही है हम माने स्पीड वन है क्योंकि ऑफकोर्स जब हम एल्फा डॉट लेते हैं एल्फा डॉट जो है अगर इसकी स्पीड फिक्स्ड है अगर इसका मैग्नीट्यूड फिक्स्ड है तो अगर मैं इसको रीपेरामेटराइज करूं सो तुम्हें पता ही है व्हाट इज द रीपेरामेटराइजेशन तो फिर कर्वेचर के लिए क्या फॉर्मूला होता है इट इज नॉट यूनिट स्पीड या तो होता है अल्फा डैश टी जो है वो बराबर होता है यूनिट स्पीड है तो उसका डबल डेरिवेटिव ले लो या तो ये है कर्वेचर या फिर ये होता है अल्फा डॉट टी आई थिंक इट इज क्रॉस अल्फा डबल डॉट टी नहीं क्रॉस ही है राइट डिवाइडेड बाय मुझे अगर सही से याद है इट इज अल्फा डॉट टी का क्यूब सो सो अगर ये यूनिट स्पीड पैरामीटराइजेशन है so this would be equal to because uh, because jab main le raha hu iski speed constant hai to ye iske perpendicular hoga so it would be just alpha dot t to alpha double dot t aur kyunki ye constant hai niche bhi to it's just multiplying this curvature by a constant in a unit speed mein jo curvature hoga wo ye formula hai yahan pe hoga some constant into something bas maine galat kiya वो की यूनिट स्पीड के लिए यूज करें हम डैशेस को रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं लेट मी कट इट मेरे कहने का मतलब है अगर यूनिट स्पीड है कर्व तो उसका होता है अल्फा डबल डैश का नॉर्म अगर यूनिट स्पीड नहीं है कर्वेचर इसके बराबर होता है व्हिच इज द सेम थिंग एज अगर मैं इसको कोई दूसरे तरीके से रिपेरामेटराइज करूं तो होता है अल्फा डॉट क्रॉस अल्फा डबल डॉट का नॉर्म डिवाइड बाय अल्फा डॉट बाय क्यू इफ आई एम राइट एम राइट आई थिंक आई एम राइट so for of course it is just some k times some number to k in some alpha times some m times alpha double dot so reparameterization se iski jo hai just curvature vector pe koi fark nahi padega apart from multiplying by a non zero constant okay let's do that so we move ahead सो जो कि मैंने पहले ही कहा था बिच बज रहा ऑब्वियस फ्रॉम जो हमने अभी तक किया वो एक छोटा सा थे कर सकते हैं कि सरफेस जियोटेसिक सरफेस इज अ जियोटेसिक इफ एंड ओनली इफ इट्स जियोटेसिक जीरो इट्स जियोटेसिक ये तो फॉर्मूला से ही ऑब्वियस है लेकिन लेट्स डू इट एक छोटा सा थ्योरम क्रॉस कुछ मैं नहीं करता इट इज सफिशिएंट टू कंसीडर क्योंकि इससे इसकी जो कि मैंने अभी कहा टू कंसीडर ए यूनिट स्पीड कर्व ए यूनिट स्पीड कर्व अल्फा अल्फा on the surface let's call it r is equal to r at u v and let n be the unit normal to the surface to the surface at point that we are we are under consideration mm okay geodesic curvature so that to so second method that geodesic curvature is given by kg बराबर होगा alpha double dot dot product with n cross alpha dot now if alpha double dot is parallel to n jo kya hota hai it is obviously perpendicular 
it is obviously perpendicular to n cross f bar dot, which implies that qt must be equal to zero. Conversely, suppose that qt is equal to zero. You will see which are zero here. Then alpha double dot to here is perpendicular to n cross alpha dot, but right, the capital is zero over. But k is zero over, so then alpha double dot will be perpendicular to this n cross alpha dot. But since uh, we have got three mutually perpendicular vectors in alpha n and n cross alpha dot are mutually perpendicular unit vectors, mutually, mutually perpendicular unit vectors. Unit vectors in R3 it implies that alpha double dot must be perpendicular to alpha dot. It follows that alpha double dot is parallel to an elevator, which implies that alpha is a GLC. Okay, you know, okay, mutually perpendicular here, is perpendicular here, it must lie along alpha in the plane and find n, but alpha double dot is also perpendicular to this, so therefore it must be very dono co perpendicular here, which is the mutually perpendicular unit vector, so it must be parallel to n, which means it will be a jealous straight. Okay, again. Obvious here, a chorus of theorem key any part of a straight line is a geodesic. Any bracket will become part of a straight line is a theorem to me. The geodesic straight line key equation here. Straight line key equation is alpha dot t is equal to some constant times d, some constant vector, plus some other constant vector b. Now the real straight line has to obviously alpha double dot is zero, which means it's a geodesic, and zero is perpendicular to every vector. Okay. So, if you look at a cylinder, it's now obviously your generators, and your cone get your generators, and now it's all the same geodesic. Or, of course, if you look at the Sphere to head. It's going to great circles in the circles with the same radius as the sphere. So it's sphere pe wo geodesic song. And they must it's going to surface normal. Looks like a curvature vector. It must lie along double down and the surface normal. Another thing to obvious here to me again to be chosen theorem. Theorem chosen again, do like that. Any normal section of a surface is a geodesic. Any normal section of a surface is a geodesic. Geodesic. Okay, so we can just throw it to yourself. Then there is something called geodesic equations. Very important here. This is another characterization of the curves on the surface as geodesics, you know, by means of basically two differential equations. Now a curve, John Theorem going through that, a curve alpha on a surface S a 
it's a geodesic. If and only if for the curve, these two hold. Okay. So the curve alpha at t, which would be because it lies on the surface, r, it would be of this form, this equation. Mm, the following two equations are satisfied. The following gene code getting geodesic equations. The following two equations, uh, equations are satisfied. Or ye bella d by dt of e u dot plus f e dot dot come with love differentiation with respect to t is equal to one by two. E sub u and a partial differentiation with respect to u into u dot square plus twice f sub u, u dot v dot plus g sub u v dot square. Uh, second one d by dt of f u dot plus g v dot is equal to one by two e sub v u dot square plus twice f sub v u dot v dot plus g sub v v dot square. So these differential equations are called geodesic equations. And these equations are differential equations basically. Differential equations are called geodesic equations. Geodesic equations. Okay, I'm so trying to calculate. Okay, so let's go calculate. Let's see it here. Koi jagra hai? Is it six rooms hai today? But we will do Sunday. Inshallah, Monday we will do it.